Hey everybody, Boots in the Roots here with another quick and practical tip for your small farmer garden without all the chit chat and giggling. Today, continuing in my fencing series, a very quick one here. Uh, maybe it's very simple and everyone knows how to do this, but I never know, so I'm just putting it out there and if it can help somebody, so be it. So let's take a look today, what's going on. So you've got your wire pulled and stretched and it's tacked off at the ends on your wood posts. And then you've got to come through and use those weird looking wire ties to finish this off. So again, if this is really obvious, uh, you can skip this video. But for the sake of completeness, in this whole series, I wanted to cover every aspect. And I plan on putting all these fencing videos in a playlist so you could kind of see what happens start to finish. So, with these clips, you're going to need an angled channel lock like this is the best. You can use a fencing plier like this. And you're going to start at the bottom. If you can get it at the very bottom, that would be the best. It's going to be the strongest and prevent any animals from pushing out that bottom. But if not, go up to the next one. But you always want to start towards the bottom and work your way up. And the reason is that when you've got the wire stretched and it's just tacked at the wood poles, it really wants to sag in the middle. You can maybe see that it's kind of bowed down. If you start at the top and work your way down, you could be pushing that bow in the fence down. And then when you get to the bottom, it's going to have nowhere to go. And you're going to wind up with this huge bulge at the bottom of your T post. So start at the bottom, push it in and work your way up. Now I use four clip locations on a five foot fence. So you got one at the bottom, one lower middle, one upper middle, and then one at the top. So I've got this one in and basically you're going to come in, hook the one end around the back side. Hook that end on and then you bring it around and then on this end here you're going to take the pliers and you just go down around and then you can reach in back and then pull it the rest of the way to get it snug okay so i'm going to go up here to the next one that's set up but not done so you come in and you're going to get your your pliers on there like that And you want to kind of you're kind of pulling out and pivoting down, okay, to where it looks like that. Then come in from the top side, grab it again, and go around again, okay. Now it's all the way around. Come in one more time from below and around again. So it's going to look like that. Okay, this side over here, just take the pliers and pinch that close like that. If you want to want to continue all the way around with this one, you could come around a little bit more. Have it look like that. 
Okay, that's all there is to it. So same thing up here. Just hang it over the edge. And you just grab it with these pliers and go down around like so. It come in from the top, down and around like that. And then finish it off by pinching over here, coming around as far as you want. And then over here you could come underneath and go around one more time to really tighten it up. So you wind up with that. Okay, that is nice and secure on the T-stake. Very simple. So I hope that really quick tip clipping off your wire fence to your T posts helps you out. Again, thank you for hitting the like button, for subscribing, for posting comments and questions. I really appreciate it. it let's me know that you want to Keep seeing videos like this, and we will see you next time.